Hey everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener. This episode is on succession planting. Not succession planning like you do in business, but a lot of similarities. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I do succession planting with my pickling cucumbers. Now let's take a look at the cucumbers. Now these aren't pickling cucumbers. These are, uh, I can't remember, but these are these long kind of like Asian cucumbers. Uh, they grow extremely quickly. Keep in mind, cucumbers are 90% water, so they have to get a lot of water on an ongoing basis. Also, make sure they have enough uh, potassium. That's an key ingredient for pickles to stay healthy. All right, so let's take a look. So you'll see here I have a number of pickling cucumbers, which, which is what those are. Now, I, I buy the special F1 cucumber vines that give me probably about nine female, uh, female flowers to one male flower. So I never have uh, a shortage of cucumbers. But as you see, these are in various stages. So these plants were planted a while ago. They're trellised up here on, uh, on almost a tomato cage trellis. And you can see uh, by the looks of it, just about every flower is a female flower. But these are just about done. But as we look in here, we, we have a few other cucum cucumber plants. And they're at various sizes and stages. So I really plan these things out. So if you take a look at this one, that one's just about ready to go. There's another one just about ready to go. Another one. And they're just all over the place here. So uh, what I'm going to do is pick these cucumbers out. There's another one down there. Um, and get them going. I like to make about two bottles, uh, excuse me, two mason jars of cucumbers at a time. Now my next set of cucumbers are over here. So you take a look at this one. I just planted these same F1 uh, cucumber. You'll see there at the very young stage, I do them all in containers so I can control the nutrients. Uh, again, you got to water cucumbers a lot. Very healthy looking plant, healthy looking leaves. Good amount of phosphorus, good amount of nitrogen, and don't forget the potassium. That's where most people go wrong with cucumbers. And you'll see a few others here. There's another set of cucumbers, but I have them more cucumbers. I have them at all different stages, and that's because I want to keep producing dill pickles over an eight-week period of time, 12-week period of time, and stage them succession-wise throughout the process. Let me show you my next set of pickles, which will take my pickling cucumber plants, which will take over um, probably in about four to six weeks. There's our rascal dog fin. Unfortunately, he got one of the cucumber plants and ate that, uh, that little little pot there, but uh, I don't know why he'd like a cucumber plant, but he got to one of these. So what you'll see here is uh, this one is actually uh, closer to getting ready to plant, but I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six more cucumber plants that are getting ready to go. I'll keep them in these container plants until they get to be about that size or the size that you just saw and plant them, plant it, excuse me. But that gives me a constant flow of cucumbers, not too many at once. It allows me to stage them out and pickle them and can them at the appropriate time. So you can do this in all different things that you do, tomatoes, um, peppers, whatever it may be. But if you're going to be canning things and preparing things like dill pickles or sweet pickles or canning peppers, to stage it out so you don't have too much at one time, I would recommend succession planting. That's all I have. The quick ep episode, episode on pickling cucumbers and succession planting. Hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas. Keep in mind, again, cucumbers need a lot of water, a lot of nitrogen, phosphorus, and don't forget the potassium. Until next time, Jeff, your executive gardener. Bye for now.